In this video, I'm going to take a look at an optimization problem that involves uh, inscribing a right circular cone in a sphere. Okay, so the question says, find the volume of the largest right circular cone that can be inscribed in a sphere of a radius of three centimeters. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw or create a diagram. So starting with the sphere, inside of the sphere, we're going to have a cone. And so the radius of the sphere is three centimeters. And this is a right circular cone. So the cone itself is going to have, um, if you cut it in half, um, it's going to have a right angle in it. So we're going to let R represent the radius of the cone. And we're going to let H represent the height of the cone. And then what we're going to have is we're going to have a right angle triangle inside of the cone. And the height of that right angle triangle will be h minus 3. Since the radius of the sphere is 3 centimeters um, and the height of the cone is h, is represented by h, so then that height, the height of the right angle triangle uh, would be represented by h minus 3. Um, so the volume of a right circular cone is 1 over 3 times pi times r squared times h. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem uh, to write an expression for the right triangle inside of the cone. So what, we'll, what we want to do is we want to uh, create an equation for the volume of the cone, which only has one variable in it. So currently, the equation that, that we have here has two variables. It has, it has a radius in it, so it has a variable for radius, and it has a variable for height. So we want to write an equation, a volume uh, function, uh, in terms of only one variable. And so that's why we're going to use this right angle triangle inside of the cone in order to do that. So what we're going to have is we're going to have h minus 3 squared plus r squared is equal to 3 squared. So uh, we're just using uh, the Pythagorean uh, theorem um, in, our, in order to write an expression for the right angle triangle inside of the cone. Um, now we're going to isolate for r squared. So we're going to have uh, 9 minus h minus 3 squared. Um, expanding h minus 3 squared, we're going to get <clears throat> h squared minus 6h plus 9. And then simplifying further, we're going to get 6h minus h squared. So <clears throat> the nines um, are go going to end up canceling out. Next, we're going to substitute the expression for r squared into the volume formula for the cone. And this is because we want to get rid of um, r. We want to express the volume only in terms of one variable, and in this case, that variable is going to be the height. So doing that, we're going to get uh, v is equal to 1 over 3 pi times 6h minus h squared times h. So we have replaced the r squared with 6h minus h squared. So simplifying that further, so distributing the h in, we're going to get 1 over 3 pi times 6h squared 
minus h cubed. So now that we have the volume function in terms of just one variable, in terms of h, we're now going to uh, try to find the maximum volume of the cone. So in order to do that, we need to take the first derivative and then set it equal to zero in order to find the critical values. Uh, so to find the uh, values where we're going to have uh, uh, maxima or minima. And so starting with our uh, volume function in terms of the height, uh, we're going to take that function and take the derivative and we're going to get 1 over 3 pi times 12h minus 3h squared. So we're using the power rule to find the derivative. Now we're going to set the derivative equal to 0 so that we can find the critical values. Uh, we're going to now divide by 1 over 3 pi. So divide both sides by 1 over 3 pi to get rid of it. And we're going to factor out 3h, and we'll be left with 4 minus h inside the bracket. Now we're going to solve for h. So we're going to get two critical values, h is equal to 0 and h is equal to 4. Uh, we're going to disregard the h is equal to 0 value because it doesn't really make sense in this case. Uh, so if we use h is equal to 0, then we won't actually have any volume for the cone. So taking the h is equal to 4 value, we're going to substitute it into the volume function to find the maximum volume. So taking the volume function uh, in terms of uh, one variable, h, so we're substituting 4 into h, and we're going to get 1 over 3 pi times 6 times 4 squared minus 4 cubed, and we're going to get 32 pi over 3. So therefore, the largest right circular cone will have a height of 4 centimeters and a volume of 32 pi over 3 centimeters. So if you enjoyed watching this video uh, and you found it helpful, uh, please uh, give this video a like um, and also subscribe to my channel where you'll find more videos like this one. Thank you for watching.